right now is a very interesting time for me because I am able to relate to pretty much everyone around me. I think one of the things that is the most challenging is just how isolating this crisis can feel. The whole world is up against one thing and it's wild and it's fascinating and it's terrible but I think that it has been creating a very powerful sense of community for people. I would say that my community has always been my family and my friends and the people around me. I can turn to them and know that oftentimes they're going through similar things as I am. Community is always built from those who are willing to lead. I think it's important to always be looking for people that are willing to go out of their way to help those who are less fortunate than themselves. I think it's uh, the little moments, the small things that bring me the most comfort when everything big is, is uncertain. Like taking walks, looking up at the citrus trees and small gardens, orange and yellow against the blue sky, and thinking of my grandparents. The thought of my grandparents that gives me strength and hope. I also think now has been a nice time to share different kinds of art or anything you're working on. I have a good friend who I've always wanted to play music with, and so now we're starting to send each other different parts of songs we're trying to work on. With one of my friends, we're pen pals now, and we're sending each other really cute stationery. I definitely will be saving these letters and looking back at them 50 years from now. Social media has been a good way to kind of keep up a sense of community, at least for me. Honestly, we've been talking more over the phone than I do with them normally when I'm back at school, so we've definitely grown closer. One of the things one of my friends has wanted for us as a friend group to do is World of, of Warcraft, and none of us are really into it, but now with us all being at home, it's kind of perfect. Maybe we're going through things that are totally different, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. We just kind of give each other this daily reminder that we're all in this together. Knowing that the people I care about are safe and healthy is something that I wouldn't trade for the world. Even though I need to be alone sometimes, I want to be alone sometimes, I need to know that I have the option of not being alone. And I need to remember that, especially now. It feels incredible and it feels kind of scary and it feels very hope-inducing to be together in a fight with 8 billion people. As well as forces you to be present in your own life and focus on being present in your writing or whatever you enjoy doing while also sharing it with people who care about it. And it's in these moments and the act of sharing them where I find paths to community. And it's holding on to laughter and it's holding on to smiles and of course it's holding on to love.